Eugene here and we're back again friends with another vlog and so we are wrapping up June uh, clearly in this vlog I got three packages that came in the mail uh, clearly it was yesterday but I filmed that part yesterday so uh, you'll be seeing that uh, that part in a little bit and so like I said we are wrapping up June and uh, uh, pretty much with some more hauls by me so uh, anyway um, like I said, three packages, uh, two from Amiami and one from uh, HLJ. So let's go ahead and uh, see that part, and I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. So here we go. All right, friends, uh, time to go ahead and see what I got in these three packages I got in today. And so here we go. Here's the first one. This one came from HLJ, and as you can see, it is huge. So anyway, let's go ahead and open it up. As you can see, I already opened it up and everything. Um, but anyway... Um, Let's go and get this out here and move this out of my way. So uh, here is Cube Rhinos. Uh, like I said, I pre-ordered uh, him from HOJ probably about a month ago or so. So here he is as promised. And so like I said, I really couldn't pre-order these. Um, you know, I really couldn't do the uh, um, Tosai Duo set. Uh, due to the fact that it was sold out or there were no pre-orders for it or I just missed the pre-order. So here's Cube Rhinos. Now package number two. And this is pretty much going with Cube Rhinos pretty much. So uh, thank you for shopping right here. So uh, anyway, here we go friends. Uh, like I said, this came from Amiami. And so here is Cube Crocodile. And here is Cube Wolf. So yes, meaning I got I got Jewel of the World's Mechas. So cannot wait to review them. Just to let you know, friends, I will have uh, all three of these in one review. So mainly calling it a Tosai Jewel review, which is pretty much what he is. So anyway, so that's package number two. And so here is package number three. And uh, here's another uh, thank you for shopping. This one came from Amiami. Um, I had these guys on pre-order, I would say about two months. No. Yeah, it was about two or three months. But uh, anyway, um, here are the vinyl figures to the uh, Yashi Kohai uh, of Jewelers. Here is uh, Jewel Eagle. They look very nice. I like how these look. So... And then uh, here is uh, Jewel Lion, pretty much, and he's it is uh, Yashi Kohai mode. And Cube Elephant. Now, just to let you know, friends, that these guys will be in one review. So, uh, Cube Rhino, Cube Wolf, and uh, Cube Crocodile will be in one review, and so will these guys. So, just figure I'll let you know on that. So, that's all my packages. So, uh... Anyway. All right, we got that done, and uh, guess who uh, decided to join me? Yes, good old Tosai Juo. I have to say, I really do like this uh, mecha already, and I'll give you more of my input in his review. Like I said in the last part, I'm gonna be doing, um, I'm gonna be having all three of them done in one review, even though I bought them individually. You know, cro co um, Cube Crocodile, Cube Wolf, and Cube Rhino. So. I'll let you know on that. So here he is, and you will be seeing him again in his review very, very soon. I don't know when. But uh, anyway, friends, uh, I decided uh, once again, I don't know if you remember, I went ahead and paid my friend Spade of Ace DVDs a visit, and I got, um, you know, a whole bunch of box sets and, you know, DVDs and so on. So I went ahead and I bought some more DVDs from them. And, but I really went ahead and I wanted to wrap up the whole Kiruger series. So um, I went ahead and I got these from them. Um, here is uh, Kiruger's The Movie, Garvin Cho of Music. And then uh, um, I got this one. Uh, this one is uh, Kiruger's versus uh, Go Busters. And then uh, the last one here is Kiruger's one year, 100 Years After. And I will say this, friends, don't get this um, idea in your head. No, it's not TV Nihon's work. Um, I'm a prime witness. I already 
uh, watch these DVDs. I went ahead and uh, I, I mean I didn't I mean uh, the subtitles are decent. They're not TV Nihon's work. Um, I know in a few of these they do mess up, but you know that's intentionally intentional. But anyway, uh, so no, these are not uh, uh, Nihon's work. People get uh, get pissed, you know, and think, oh, that's TV Nihon's work that I bought. No, it's not. It's not because I mean. Um, if it would, it would have TV Nihon's trademark probably after it presents the series like Juden Sentai Kyuruger's Gabriel Trouble Music and you know, say uh, TV Nihon Presents or something. But uh, anyway, so get that out of your head, friends. I'm being honest with you. All right, well, <clears throat> uh, like I said, we are wrapping up June. And so uh, time to talk about what I pre-ordered for July and August. Um, and... Um, Mainly from HLJ and from uh, Ami Ami. Um, clearly from HLJ, um, I pre-ordered these stuff. Tuss, Amu, Leo, and Sela. Um, little plushes uh, that they uh, showed uh, at one of them conventions uh, in Japan uh, for Juger. Uh, can't, cannot wait to get those. Uh, to be honest with you, friends, I, I don't have any plushes in my collection. Um, not like a Super Mario plush or a Mega Man plush or a Proto Man plush. So, yeah. Um, so I, I decided to go ahead and pre-order those because I thought they were so cute, and I just I have to have them. I have to have them. I mean, and uh, so anyway, uh, getting back to my pre-orders. Uh, um, August, uh, I went ahead. Um, there's um, some items coming out in August, and I pre-ordered these from Ami Ami. Probably way back in May, I believe, last month, e either April or last month, one of the two. But I, I pre-ordered these. They're called the four-inch nail figures for Mega Man and Mega Man Battle Network. I don't know what these figures look like yet. Um, I have to look at some more pictures and see what they look like. And um, according to this, it says four-inch. So I don't really know about these figures as of yet. So that's pretty much all my pre-orders. Um, and, um, um, like I said, it's pretty much all for my pre-orders for J July and August. Um, as far as me purchasing other things, um, I did spot on Mandrake a side blade for, I think, 2,000 yen. So I may grab that one day. I'm not really sure. Plus, there are more other Sayokin books I want to get. Speaking of Sayokin books, I showed you in the last uh, uh, vlog that um, I got the Jetman and the Cucker Rangers Sayokin books. I'm thinking about doing their uh, reviews very, very soon. I don't know when. Um, right now, that's on a backlog right now because, you know, I'm, I'm focusing on new things. And, of course, I don't know if you guys... Uh, seen from the title of this vlog you know it'll be six years since I started since I became a tour reviewer and that's July 5th and so you know hard to believe it has been six years but anyway getting back to that I have you know an anniversary review I want to do and I have new items to do like you know Tosai Jewel right there and you know the uh, Yashi Kohai vinyls and so on but um if you guys remember, I talked about this uh, in like the last two vlogs, that this uh, um, this figure here will be the anniversary review. This is the Rock, the SH Figure Arts Rockman Zero. I'm gonna do that as my anniversary review. As a matter of fact, I'll probably do his review probably either today or Sunday or whenever I'm free and I can do this. But uh, just keep an eye out. Um, and as far as Tosai Juo and the Yoshi Kohai uh, final figures, those reviews may be either up either after or before this. Because my anniversary is like six or seven days from now as this recording. I mean, by the time you've seen this, it'll probably uh, be that day. But anyway, just figure I'd let you know that's the plan. So. If you uh, Rockman Mega Man viewers are all pissed off at me because I haven't done a Rockman Mega Man review, I'm sorry, but here you go. Here's one of them for right now. I, I mean, right now, I said this over and over, but Rockman Mega Man news has been very, very slow. And there's nothing really, I mean, there's nothing new really coming out except for the 4-inch uh, the Null figures that are coming out 
in August. So, like I said, I'm sorry if y'all pissed at me, but y'all need to remember what my passion for this channel is, and which is Sentai. But, uh, anyway, well, friends, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog because, I mean, I got a ton of stuff I got to do today. So, uh, if you like this uh, vlog, please smack that like button. And, friends, please don't uh, forget to subscribe. Um, I still need all your support, and I want to thank you all for watching me um, for these past six years of doing tour reviews and probably going on uh, following my channel for almost seven years. So, anyway, well, I'm Eugene. I'm signing out, and I hope you have a good day. And, friends, almost assuredly, see you next time. Bye.